for those of you who don't know me, this is Aditya Mittal, and I like to create videos on uh, math, on entrepreneurship and business, on meditation and mindfulness, and on games like poker or risk. So in this case, I'm going to uh, quickly discuss a business concept, um, which is commonly we understand buying low, selling high, or um, maybe in the case of getting a customer, uh, the cost of acquiring that customer, CAC CAC, and the lifetime value of the customer. So <clears throat> when we talk about growth, uh, we talk about growing the company, even if it means that the lifetime value of a given customer is lower than the cost of acquiring that customer. When we talk about speed, uh, we try to get more of cash flow going, so we try to get more um, LTV, more lifetime value for the customers that we acquire. Uh, so our cost should be lower than what each customer at an individual level can bring to us in terms of cash. Uh, maybe it's not even appropriate to talk about lifetime value there, but just even in the short term, how much cash that customer can bring to us. And finally, I want to talk about this concept of sustainable growth. So the first kind of growth where if you just kept growing with customers who cost you more to acquire and their lifetime value is actually lower than what their uh, cost of acquiring them is, the kind of growth you're going to get is unsustainable. And for sustainable growth, so how long do you want to grow like that is a question. And really what you want to do is develop the business or the network until it becomes uh, fluid, it becomes a positive feedback, it becomes sustainable. And we'll call that the value of the business or value of the company or network. So that value that you want to create, you want to basically uh, acquire customers or in a given marketplace, both sides of the marketplace, solving the chicken and egg problem. And so you want to spend cash kind of acquiring both sides until the marketplace becomes stable in itself and can grow and continue to acquire both sides of the marketplace without uh, you having to spend more and the total value of that network is more than the amount of money you spend creating it and that's profitable also a uh, good example is uber so in the case of uber they paid and gave a guarantee to the drivers that okay you will basically drive around and you will make at least this much if even if you're not getting the rides we will cover the cost uh, and then on the rider side they basically spent money and gave you know free incentives free rides you get so many rides for free if you join and so on until they got enough drivers and riders that they could create a system where they said okay your uh, driver will be here within five minutes and uh, now that you are starting to use that system like that system you start paying for it and so in this way a networks created which has more value than the amount of money spent creating that network and so that's how you can create a sustainable marketplace um, by basically acquiring both sides of the 